That was very interesting. My camera literally just shut off entirely on its own and the screen went black right when I said that. <laughs> it's like balancing forces trying to keep me from talking about you detaching from pendulums and taking care of yourself. <laughs> wow, that was really weird. Okay, so checking in with yourself. There's a number of little points here. Oh, remember to like this video, comment below. My world is taking care of me to enter my giveaway, reality 2.0 teachable link down below and subscribe, right? All that good stuff. So checking in with yourself and asking yourself, maybe these become your questions, right? Maybe you curtail your own set of questions, but maybe if you are one of the people that have said, oh my gosh, I've lost myself to my outer screen lately. I haven't been developing. I haven't been self-caring. I've gone back to the older version of myself. Maybe setting a few of these questions up in a place where you'll see them. Maybe in the morning, maybe you write these down, post them to your fridge, and make certain that you're checking in with yourself throughout the day, right? So a few of them that I ask myself, where is my attention, right? Where is my attention? Is my attention too immersed in something outside of me that does not benefit me? Now, right now, I'm really, really good at this. I have not been losing my attention to something external, and I haven't even been existing in my own mind, which is my tendency, right? I'm an introverted person. So I'm not outer screen, I'm not inner screen as much as I was, just say like a year ago, because I, I continue to ask myself this question, where is my attention going. I see myself, I see my reality, pulling myself back to the center screen and making certain that this is a priority, right? Of course, I can lose myself a little in the evenings, watching something on TV or, you know, walking with a friend and gossiping or whatever. But for the most part, I am aware of where my attention is existing, right? Um, is your big self helping your little self? So in some of my recent videos, I've talked about having a dialogue between those versions of you. You can say your higher self and your lower self and really having your higher self show your lower self a slide of things improving, you accomplishing your goals, you making sure that you stay in tune with your intention and keep walking that path through your doors. All that good transurfing stuff Make certain that you're, that you're asking yourself, is your higher self showing your lower self these visions, these slides, these um, visualizations enough throughout the day and pulling your littler self along with you, right? Am I in my center screen enough? This is a big one because remember, creating your own reality, creating in general, being efficient, being effective, really doing what you need to do to materialize that version of reality that you have set the intention to materialize, it's really all taking place in the center screen. So calling your attention back to the center screen is a practice. And the more you do it, the better you get at it, the longer you exist in that center place. And this is the ideal state as a trans server. So when you're checking in with yourself, maybe in the morning, right? If you're gonna put up something like this, maybe you even just draw this exact same thing out, put your little questions to yourself in, in the bubbles and ask yourself in the morning, did I do this stuff yesterday? look retrospectively back and see where was my attention yesterday? Did my big self help my little self? Where was I, where was I existing? Outer screen, inner screen, center screen? What was it enough time in the center screen? Um, what do I need to do right now? So bringing yourself back into the moment. So let's say these three questions here, you're like, oh God, I lost a bunch of attention yesterday. I was not you know, connecting with my higher self, my little, littler self kind of took over and I spent no time in my center screen. So then ask yourself, okay, well, what do I need to do right now? 
Um, maybe I need to commit a couple of hours today to my center screen. Maybe I need to check in with that higher version of myself. Check out my higher self meditation. This is a really good one for putting you in contact with your higher self. And maybe I need to pay attention more to where my attention is going today. Then, um, you know, quantify what are my energy, rest, self-care, and self-love levels right now. So do I have energy? Am I depleted? Again, this is going to come back to these things, center screen and attention. Where, you know, what are my energy levels? What are my rest levels? Did I sleep well last night? Did I oversleep? Did I have, you know, problematic sleeping last night because I ate too much junk food yesterday or I didn't get enough exercise or whatever. So really sort of gauging what your energy and rest levels have been and then adjusting adequately. What is your self-care and self-love levels looking like? Are you depleted? Do you need to fill stuff back up? Do you need to take a me day? Check that video out. Super happy fun magic day. I hope it's aired by now. I'll try to put it ahead of this video. Um, but this is a big one. Maybe if your self-care and your self-love is super low and you need some insights, maybe it's time for a super happy, fun magic day. How can I improve today? What can I do? Not how can I improve the day, but how can I improve today? How can I improve today? Can I do something to get some of my meta power back, get some of my energy back? Can I take a really good rest? Can I bring up my levels of self-care and self-love? What do I need to do right now? Am I spending enough time in my center screen? Big self helping little self, where is my attention? How can I improve as a person today? So remembering, I see myself and I see my reality helps with all of this stuff. This is the magic, magic, magic saying as a trans surfer, right? I see myself, I see my reality. My intention is that I am my goal and I am going to do exactly what I need to do to fulfill that intention, whatever it means for you, right? Whatever it means for you, committing to that thing, doing that thing, staying on track and not losing yourself for too long long into your outer screen like some people have lately coming back months later and being like oh my god what just happened you can stay you can if you can practice center screening that time in the outer screen or the inner screen is going to start feeling less and less um, comfortable right less and less habitual really start to make this habitual asking yourself these things and bringing yourself back to what your goal is and that goal is you so let me know your thoughts on this one everybody a short video today thank you for watching comment subscribe like and thank you so much have a good day bye guys